Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Naza Kudoshia back with another video, and today we're doing a market close. Yay! But before we get started, of course, there is this boring disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor, and you should always do your own due diligence and research before taking part in any investment scheme. Alright, let's get into it. So, what exactly happened today? So, today was very interesting. Zyme Morgan leads three IPOs making their market debut today. So Zyme Morgan, Neuropace, and No Before are kicking off life as public companies on Thursday, which is today. All three companies are making their market debuts on the NASDAQ. So Zyme Morgan, if you in case you guys didn't know, it's like a biofacturing company. I know, funny term, but it's the use of biological processes to make chemicals. And its first product, Hyaline, is an optical film that can be used in display touch sensors for personal devices. And also, Zyme Morgan raised $500 million after boosting its initial public offering by 19%. And in case you all didn't know, initial public offering stands for IPO. Yep, you guessed it. Selling 16.13 million shares at $31 each. This is up from the 13.6 million shares Zyme Morgan had filed to sell off at $28 to $31. It will trade under the ticker ZY, something to look at. JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs are the underwriters on the deal. And also Neuropace is opening for trading Thursday after it's delaying its deal by a day. It will be trading at NPCE. Neuropice is a medical device company that is developing treatments for people suffering with epilepsy. Also, the company, other, another company that was listed is No Before, which is also set to start trading. It raised $152 million after cutting the size of its deal by roughly 20%. And No Before will trade under the symbol N, sorry, KNBE. And No Before provides a security awareness training platform that uses cloud-based software, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and advanced analytics to change human behavior. So like psycholo psychologic therapy, basically. And what else happened today? Today was a very interesting day. So the Dow dropped, and if we look at the Dow here, the Dow Jones, we all know the ticker symbol by now, dot D J I. And it's not 33,738 point and 33 cents. So it's down $398.98, which is 1.17%. And tech stocks rally as jobless claims fall, Tesla slides, and while LAM is back in buy range. So what is LAM exactly? So LAM is basically an American corporation that engages in the design, manufacture, marketing, and service of semiconductor processing equipment used in the fabrication of integrated circuits, according to Wikipedia. So basically, it's a semiconductor chip company. It's trading at $615.17. The ticker symbol is LRCX. The Dow Jones Industrial Average briefly fell more than 175 points today, despite a decline in weekly jobless claims. Tesla stock slid in the morning trade, while Lamb Research fell back into buy range on earnings results. Among the Dow Jones leaders, Apple reversed 0.3% higher today, while Microsoft moved up 0.3% in today's stock market. Tesla slid 1% today following Wednesday's 3.5% gain. Chipotle Mexican Grill or CMG and it's trading at $1,471.46. Ticker symbol again CMG. Reported earnings after the stock market close on Wednesday. Among the top stocks to buy and watch, LAM Research and NVIDIA, so if we go to NVIDIA here, $592.61, ticker symbol NVDA, 
And why do we have to watch for it? They are in or near new buy zones. LAM Research reported strong earnings result late Wednesday. And Apple and NVIDIA were featured in this week's stocks near a buy zone column, which is quite good. And about the jobless claims that we say, stated before, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell to 0.2%, while the S&P lost less than 0.1%. The tech-heavy tech Nasdaq Composite moved up 0.2% after reversing higher in morning trade. Okay, so early morning today, Thursday, the Labor Department reported jobless claims dropped to 50, sorry, 547,000 last week, falling from the prior week's 586,000 claims. It was better than consensus estimates, so it beat it. What else happened today? Man, this is a really interesting day. So, small caps gain, AT&T climbs on earnings, Equifax and Teradata spike. So, earnings sent AT&T, Marine Max, Equifax, and Pool Corp sharply higher. So, Teradata sp spiked after updating guidance. Meanwhile, chemical marker Dow dived. We already know that. So if we look at AT&T, today recently it spiked, it's up $1.06 per share, which is 3.52%. But as you all know, it really doesn't move that much, but it does pay a very fat, juicy, chunky dividend at 6.67% per share, which is really nice. And I do have a few shares myself. It's, a, it's an investor's favorite, I feel. So Dexcom edged to a 0.1% lower. Zoom and Trip.com trading at the top of the NASDAQ 100. Biogen, it's a bio company as you can tell from the name, skidded 3.5% to the bottom of the NASDAQ despite smaller than expected declines in its first quarter sales and earnings. Equifax and Pool Corp had their earnings news and it boosted them to the top of the index, up 14.2% and 9.6% respectively. Market Taxes Holdings and Micron Technology fell further on the S&P 500, all hurt by earnings. We already, we already talked about CMG, but I want to say that it was the biggest revenue increase in almost seven years. And American Airlines Group AAL and steelmaker Cleveland Cliffs slumped on earnings. Shares of data warehousing leader Teradata TDC spiked 28%. And that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this news report. And if you like this news report, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.